it's Taylor and welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a a tutorial on how to edit your videos, make thumbnails and make banners. Obviously I'm not the best but I'm just going to show you what app to use on your iPad and a little demonstration on how to do it. Alright so I'm going to screen record my iPad so you guys can see and my face will be in the corner. So let's begin. Alright, so I'm on my iPad right now and the first app you're gonna wanna use my iPad right here. The first app you're gonna wanna use is this app called LumaFusion. It says Luma Touch but it's called LumaFusion. Alright, so this was just my ASMR video. I'll just delete this, make a new, and then import. So LumaFusion on the app store it's around forty bucks, forty dollars Australian money. So um, it might be cheaper somewhere else if they have it in the App Store. They don't have it in the Google Play Store, I'm pretty sure. Only on App Store in Australia they have. I don't know about other countries, but yeah. So um, yeah, this is my thumbnail that this um, my personal GFX made just to add him. Um, anyway, it's good. It's just um, it's for this video. I had it before it's before the video is made. So I could put it on straight away. Anyway, so let's use a video. Alright, so just add here made me an intro. Um this is my new intro for my um for this channel, it's Taylor, my new intro. It's pretty cool. Um so let's say I want to edit this. Let's say as soon as this comes up, I wanna cut it. So see at the very bottom how there's scissors like directly f at the bottom where my line is. Um, next to it's a plus and scissors. I want to click that scissors to cut. So just click it, and then it cuts it. Let's say I want to delete all of this. I'm not actually doing it; it's just a demonstration. I'll never delete this. This is a very good intro. Anyway, let's say I want to delete this. Next to the plus, next to the scissors, next to the scissors is a bin. You just want to click that bin, and boom. Oh wait, I need to cut more. I'm gonna cut actually where this comes up. Cut. Just grab this. If you can't grab it because it's too small, you wanna just get your fingers and pinch it and do that, like zoom it in or out. And you can just zoom in and it'll come more bigger. You just delete that. Then you zoom out. Let's say I wanna cut it as soon as it does this. I want to cut this because this is just all green. I don't need this. Let's say you don't need it, let's just say. There. So now I look like this. Right. So, let's just say it's my video. Like an actual video. Let's say, so I want to do a lot of stuff to it. You have to double click it. Double click on the track to if um to zoom out, zoom in, you know, all you want. All of this is like size. This is all size and oh. Oh what did I do? Oh there. Alright. So this is size and position. You wanna go if you you can go fit mode. I don't know what that is. You can go cropping. You can like crop the left of it, the top. See, so yeah, I don't want to do that. Um, this is all of that. You can have a f play around with this. And then at the bottom, it says frame and fit. I'm on frame and fit. It has speed and reverse. I can speed it up and slow it down. Let's see. I'll speed it up. Let's see what it looks like. Oh no, this is slowing it down, my bad. Double click it to edit. Let's go speed it up. Six times as fast as. Oh, too fast. Let's just slow it down. Either. Let's just like, yeah, so that, go up if you want to speed it, go down if you want to slow it down. Um, 
You can go reverse, it has like a little option here. But that's gonna, you just need to wait for it to do that. But yeah, I don't want to do that. So let's say you're going to double click it again. Next is audio. Bring it up or down. Color and effect. You guys can play around with that. Um, and then if you want to add text, you go you click the plus next to the scissors, as I said, plus. And it says voiceover. You can add your voice. Transition, that is... Ah, oh, so like if you click to transition, it like dissolves, cross dissolve. It starts from black and then it just transforms into green. So you can click transition. Ah, so on the transition is blank clip. You can add a blank clip and then it'll start. And if you want to add title over that, let's say before your video, you want to say, um, hope you enjoy. You click um, main title. And then you double click it, and then you double click this and you start typing. That's an easier way. Or you could click overlay title and see there's another track. I forgot to mention there's a lot of tracks in this audio track at the bottom, video track at the top, always. So you can add as much tracks as you want. And let's say, yeah, so you want to do an overlay title, you just double click the overlay title, double click here, blah blah blah. And then you just you can choose your color. You can go down and it's a, you can choose your font. All of that. So click the plus again. Yeah, I already done now. Oh, covered that. Let's say um you want to do face cam. You add another intro over that. I oh, delete the overlay title. I'm gonna delete that. Move this down. Let's say this is my um. Oh my bad. Alright, so this intro is my, my normal video. This, let's say this is my video, like what I'm doing right now. That's the video, let's say. I got another video up here. This is my um face. I click my face. And then I get frame and fit at the bottom, remember that. And then you just zoom out, put it in whichever corner you want. And then, yeah, while it's playing, it's there. So that's how you do face cam, it's so easy, you just double click the track, pinch it down, or bring the size down. That, it's so simple guys, because since there's tracks in this, it's not all that complicated stuff, you know. So, since there's multiple tracks, you just do that. And, if you guys want to know how to, let's say, save it, click the, um, at the right, bottom right, there's three um, icons, settings, right here. There's this cube thing and upload. Or share it and export. Go movie, go photos, that's your photos, and then you click upload. But we don't wanna do we don't wanna upload it. Well I don't because this is just a demonstration, but that's what you do to upload it. And then if you want to click a new one, click this at the bottom left, the very bottom left. Click delete, yes. Click the plus, and you just make a new new file like that. So yeah, that's how you use LumaFusion. Next is PixArt. How to make it um thumbnails and banners. All right, so you click the plus. Let's say I have a I want a background. Uh let's start off with the banner. So, um, you're gonna wanna download this template from Safari. Safari. Um, just go Safari, type up. YouTube banner template. Go images right here, the first one. Add that to photos, and then yeah, so I already have it. So this is your banner size in the middle. All right, so add photo. Let's say you want to add this as your background. Gotta make it the correct size. There, that's the banner size right there you're gonna wanna use. And then you click apply at the top left, top right, I mean. 
Oh. Right, something happened. You just go add photo again. Add. Just do it again. As you can see, it's under it. I don't know why. Um, just do it again. Do it, yeah. Apply. Yeah, it's there. Just do it again. I don't know why that happened. Anyway, so now at the bottom you have all of these selections. If you want to, um, let's say you want to add another photo. So, add photo. Let's say you want to add this. My thumbnail that just add here made. Put this in like that. Apply. And guys, just so you know, as when you add it and you click apply, you can't go back and move it around. So you got to make it perfect. Add photo again. Um, let's say I want to add this picture of the play button. Like that. And then you want to add text. Click text. Go. I'll write my name. It's Taylor. Done. Now, go to color, or actually font first. Let's say I want that font. I have that font. Color, you can make, you can go color, any color, gradient, or texture. I'll go texture if I like it. And you can click all of these stuff, have a look at it. I'm just, for now, I'm just going to click um, white, uh, where's white? White, and then stroke. You can have like um you can choose a stroke. I'm just gonna have black shadow blue there we go. Put fit this in there. Apply. Boom, that's your banner done. And then go next, photos, it saves to my photos. Go to your photos, and then boom, it's there. But for this, I'm just going to delete it, because I don't need it. So, thumbnail. There's no thumbnail template, as there was with the banner. There was, so, the, what you're going to do is, you're going to just get a random photo. Do I have any photos? No. I'll just... I'll get one from Safari. You know, you're going to want a background, what your background what background you would like. Let's type out blue. Blue back ground. Yep. Images. Let's see. Let's see let's see let's see you like this one. Yep. That's it. See your photos. Go back to Pixar. It's right here. Do you wanna get that? You wanna go wait hold up. Fit, ratio, YouTube, that's the YouTube thumbnail size. But as you can see, there's two white things on like the right and left side, like the border. So if you want to make that, if you don't want that in the thumbnail, the white border, um, you just go tools, crop. Actually, no, hold up. Crop. Oh, wait, no, don't do that. No, I don't do what I just done. To get that, go crop. Wait. Oh, I know. When you go here, you're gonna want to type up twelve eighty by seven twenty. That's the thumbnail size, and then it'll come up twelve eighty by seven twenty. You're gonna want to copy that. Well, this is the easiest way I know, just find the um, background that's actually thumbnail size. That's the thumbnail size. And then you're going to want to add whatever you want to. Add photo. Let's just add this again. Put that right there. Um, add photo. Um, let's see. Let's do this. My birthday. Me with my birthday cake and then add photo. Let's see my thumbnail. 
Yeah, that's the thumb. That's that's technically the thumbnail that you guys want to do. Um, so yeah, and then you I just go next and click photos again to add to photos, and it's on your photos as you can see. But I don't need it. And yeah, that's how you edit on LumaFusion, which is a really good app. I recommend it for you guys. It's worth it. Forty bucks. It's maybe a bit expensive, but. I think it's good. Pixar is just amazing. You can do anything on it. Um, so yeah, that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe. Um, I want to hear 500 subs. So if I could hit that, that would be amazing. Um, next video is gonna be a prank video. I will upload more tutorials. Comment down below what you want me to post, and I'm out. Peace.